Hello everybody, how it be, how it do? It's your boy Exile the Radio here today gonna show you a tutorial video. Um in this video broskies we're gonna be hopping right into it. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like when we're done with this. Um but basically this is gonna be a tutorial for playing as multiple custom models. Um I looked all over YouTube. There's not really any videos like this where you play as multiple. So here's my first model. Here's my second model. I can switch between them freely. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're just going to hop right into it. Alright everybody, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out right here on a fresh slate. You're going to want to have your models ready because you're going to need them to be able to play as them. So I have two models right here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is, um, I don't know if it's necessary with uh, the uh, script I put in that changes them, but if you don't use that script, make sure your models are off the ground, otherwise they'll be stuck to the base plate and you won't be able to move. So make sure they're raised above the ground. And now we're going to take them and we're going to move them into replicated storage. So they're not here anymore. And we're going to clone them from the replicated storage to the workspace with our scripts. Next off, you're going to want to make, um, click the plus button by workspace and make a humanoid. You can't make one in replicated storage, so make one in workspace and drag it down to replicated storage. Um, and finally, you're going to want to make some remote events. So we have one remote event. Now we're going to name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it change. And then we're going to duplicate this, and we're going to name the second one um, change2, or whatever. Just make sure they're different names, and remember what you've named them. So, next off, we're going to go to starter GUI, and we're going to make a screen GUI. Ignore this HD admin, that's a plugin I have. So, we're going to make a screen GUI, and then inside of it, we're going to add a frame. We're going to drag the frame, hold on, I'm going to drag the frame down here, make it whatever size you feel like. And then we're going to insert a text, a text button into the frame and just drag it out. And then we're going to add a local script into the text button. Now this local script, we are, hold on. In this local script, we're going to um, basically just trigger when the button is being clicked. So all we're going to do here is script dot parent dot um, mouse button one click connect function uh, parentheses and then the end should pop up. If you do it right, then we're going to do game dot replicated store. Oh, what? Game dot replicated storage dot change, which is what we've named our remote event fire server and that's all we need and then we're just going to we're going to take this whole thing and we're going to duplicate it so now we have another one you're going to want to select the frame and the text button and drag it over here and we're going to change a few things first off we're going to go in the script and all we're going to change here is we're going to go change two so this is going to be our separate one because it's a different one and now we're going to name these buttons just so we can figure out what they are. This is going to be my neon button. And this one up here is going to be my regular button. So I'm just going to name it that so I can figure out what it is. And we can turn these on just so we can see them better. Now that you have that, you're going to want to... Next, we're going to want to take server script service and we're going to put a script in here and in this script we're just going to detect well first we're going to set up some variables that we're going to use later on in the script the first one my variable um let's just call it model so our model is gonna the, you just put where your model is right now it should be replicated storage if you're using it there and we're going to go humanoid and that's game.replicatedStorage.humanoid and next we're gonna do game dot um, replicated storage dot change which is our remote event dot on server event 
connect function parentheses and then the end button should come up in here we're going to set some more variables so we're going to do local model equals model clone this is just going to clone our models so we can use them an infinite amount of times if you click on the buttons again equals humanoid clone we're just cloning all this stuff um, and then next after that we're going to do um, not that hold on we're going to do model.name equals player.name and that brings me up to this we're going to put player in here just so our script can get the player's name and then we're going to do model.parent uh, it equals game.workspace so it knows where it's going then we're going to do player.character equals model. That's just going to tell us that our player is the model. And it's and then next we're going to do humanoid.parent equals uh, model. And that should be it for now. We're going to come back to this later, but for now I'm just going to show you that um, this script should work and it should change us into the model. Okay, so now that we're in the game, uh, we're not done with that script yet, but I just want to show you that it will work when we click on this button. When we click on this, we are now the model, and we can move around as the model and all that jazz. So next, I'm going to show you how to load animations and um, just animations for now. So we're going to go back to our script, and we're going to add a variable for animate. So I'm just going to call it animate, and we're going to go game.replicated storage. And then you're going to want to have an animation script. So I have one already made um, with my own custom animations I've made for these models, which they're not good animations, but um, it didn't copy. So we're going to come in here. It still didn't copy. What? All right, copy. Okay. So this script, it's the regular Roblox script for animations. I've just changed the values in here. So, yeah. So you're going to take that. And now that we have it, we're going to go back to our script. And we're going to go to Brachiosaurus Animations. And that should be that. And then next, we're going to make the local, um, the local variable for it. Animate equals animate clone and then we're going to come down here and we're going to do animate dot parent equals model and that should be all for that so now that we're back in here when we click this it should have animation so it's playing the idle animation right now and it also plays the walking animation which isn't good but it works so next off, I'm going to show you how to make um, the model. We're going to make it where um, it's going to find your player's position and it's going to insert the model in your player's position. It's not going to respawn you or anything like that. It'll insert it right where your player is. So we're going to want to first off, we're going to want to set a local variable. We're going to call it HDP for humanoid root part. And this is just going to find the player's humanoid root part which is basically the center of the character and well you should know that if you're using a custom model so we're gonna go wait for child I can't spell I'm sorry um, humanoid root part and next um, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go model wait for child humanoid root part and then we're gonna go dot C frame capital C capital F equals HDP dot C frame also capital C capital F so that should be our finished script this should have everything that we're looking for in here if you don't want your models to um, if you don't want them to uh, respawn right where your character is then you don't have to insert this but it's just nice to have for when you switch between models you can stay at the same place you're at so when I click this um, 
it's playing all our animations. It'll be easier to show this when I have two separate models, but if I click this, it doesn't move me or anything. It's just putting it right back where it is. So next, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our script right here and we're gonna duplicate it. And we're gonna change a few things. We're gonna change the name of the model. So this is, I'm changing to my second model, which is my neon model. And then we're gonna change the remote event right here, change to change it to that so now when we go back I should be able to click both buttons and we should get separate models so now that we're here I'm gonna click the neon and I'm the neon now and if I click the regular I'm the regular and it doesn't matter where you go since we have that script that's inserting the models where the character is it you can replace them easily like this without having them sent back if you didn't have this script in here it would send it back to wherever your models are located in replicated storage so probably some here up back in the middle but doing this method you can insert them wherever you are so that's um that's about it guys um leave it a like uh, subscribe comment let me know um, if this video can get 20 likes I'll make um, I'll make a video probably on a growth system for these guys because in my current game I'm making I have a growth system hooked up to these guys that'll make you get bigger uh, the further on you go so thanks for watching guys and take care I'll see you guys later